In this land of bushfires, the challenge of how to build an affordable fireproof house has confounded Australians for generations. Now, a Melbourne artist come inventor believes he may have found the answer. And guess what? It's a house made of straw. Just one of many bright ideas from a very unusual architect, as Greg Hoy reports. This is the first greenhouse that Yoast built. Stripped of its greenery, the CSIRO tried to burn it down. Soon we'll see if they succeeded. But first, who is this Yoast, whose fame is spreading across the country like wildfire? Human beings are amazing at fixing problems. And, uh, you know, we're at, there's lots of problems in the world, but there's lots of solutions as well. Yoast Backer is a 38-year-old from Melbourne. Artist, builder, inventor, an ideas man. I mean, the man's a genius. He's a man also with a recognition of uh, the waste that we make. Here we are with one foot on the moon and the other one knee deep in garbage. Yoast loves recycling waste, now backed by global engineering firm Arup, which structurally designed Sydney's Opera House, his greenhouses, steel framed, the walls and roof insulated with straw bales, have now popped up as organic restaurants for guest appearances in the heart of Sydney, Melbourne and permanently in Perth. Straw is still the biggest waste product on earth. We could be using it for cardboard, we could be using it for paper, we could be using it for toilet paper. You know, six million hectares of forest get cut down every year just for toilet paper. Not your average restaurant's everything from building, plates to the jam jar glasses is recycled. Even the toilet waste. The greenhouse is an extraordinary example of not only recycling, but a self-sustaining cycle where the food that you're eating is being grown on the roof, the waste is being used to recycle. It's just an installation, and I'm hoping that people get inspired and create different things. So when the school kids come through, I tell them, in 10 years' time, I want to walk into a building that you guys have designed, and I go, "Why, well, geez, what was I thinking? This is 10 times better. He started out as a florist, but not your average florist. It wasn't just about the flower, it was about the stem, or it was, I was more interested in the ones that had fallen over and were, I found them more beautiful than the perfect straight ones, you know. So I turned things around, I turned things upside down and contrast them with found objects and found materials and that led me more into recycling yards. He actually hung clumps of chops with the bulbs intact upside down from the ceiling and I was just in awe of, of, of how the simplicity but the effectiveness of it all. There are many staunch supporters across Melbourne and its fine dining establishment. At the top of the Rialto Tower resides acclaimed Australian chef Shannon Bennett's Voudemont. We have this sort of running joke, yes, and I, that he's my florist. Uh, but he's more than that. He's, he's my design technician in many ways. Everything in terms of what I put on the floor, from the timber to the kangaroo lever on the tables, was something that I always bounced off Yost first. Frank Van Handel of Melbourne's iconic Stoke House, where Yost has long done the flowers. He's a guy that, um, the old saying, you can't uh, make strawberry jam out of horse manure. Well, Yost can. Floristry morphed into sculpture, architecture, restaurants with a thousand other interests intertwined. As anyone will tell you, to spend an hour with Yoast is to leave your head spinning with possibilities. And then they use it as fertiliser. He's got enormous energy. He's a man who can work through for 48 hours non-stop. So he's got vast drive. We work 24-7 basically to do all of these crazy things that we're doing. Um, and yeah, when you've got three kids and a husband with far too many ideas, it can be quite tiring at times. <laughs> Meantime, back at the ranch, or the original greenhouse Yost had built for he and his young family, interest in this construction concept for housing and other such developments had been growing exponentially across the country. But a straw bale house in the middle of a country bedeviled by bushfire? Surely this was courting disaster. Well, that's when the CSIRO came in to give the greenhouse, minus its greenery, a baptism of fire. 
I didn't think it was going to uh, survive. But clad in sheets of fireproof magnesium oxide, which is cheap as chips in China, but not available for sale in the bushfire capital, Australia, survived this blaze the greenhouse did with flying colours. When you get a building that's so well insulated, it means that you're not needing to cool it as much, you don't need to heat it as much. So we've used something that's cost us hardly anything, a byproduct from a farm, and created a place that uses very little energy. Voudemont's Shannon Bennett is using Yost's technology to build a hotel retreat in the fire-prone Dandenong Ranges and a home by the sea for his family. Australia should listen. I think it's very exciting for Australia and also could be an amazing export to third world countries. The road for Yost Baker and his family has not been easy. We've been very close to going completely under. But with invitations rolling in to build greenhouses in London, Copenhagen, New York, Shanghai, Auckland, even South America, the future, as usual for Yoast, seems bright. It's all about collaboration. I think that's so, why the future's so exciting. If we all work together, there's plenty of solutions out there. So you can huff and puff and not blow down that house of straw. Extraordinary. Greg Hoy there.